it's going. Yeah, but you know one thing, you know. Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're gonna do a special episode it's all about Fiona hurricane and the aftermath of the hurricane so we've been without power for eight days now coming on nine and we're running with generators we got trees as you can see that fell down and we're gonna get into more into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So yeah, Fiona Hurricane has done lots of damage. I'm getting some of these trees cleaned up and uh, we'll go see on the back, see how these trees are like all falling on the yard here. Let's go to the back. Before we go into that, I can't, I'm forgetting, I want to make sure that you go check out cis427.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video. If you're listening to the audio, I'm, I'm not used to doing these live like this, right? I usually do it on my computer, but yeah, go check it out, cis427.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video if you're listening to the audio. So as I said, let's go to the back here to show you what the tree looks like. Obviously, it's totally insane how much all these, how these trees all just fell over, right? Look at that. See the house behind it? And this is all these trees. And this is just, you know, on our side, but obviously there's other issues like power lines. You see the power lines are still down. I don't know if you can tell right here. Yeah, there's a power line right there. And this, this power line right here is like, you know, kind of all broken off. And you can see where our pole is right there. You can see right there, there's the pole that's taken off, right? So let's go show you. Let's go show you the rest of the damages. Actually, let's uh, kind of go around this way. I was on the other side a second ago, right? Let's go around here. And you know, the thing is that we're pretty, we're okay. Obviously there was no damage to the house other than the roof. There was some shingles. See these trees are kind of leaning. They're pretty, you know, these might even fall on the, on the yard later on, right? But some of them are already falling on, right? And then there's trees over around here. Let's just uh, pause this for a sec. Like this massive tree right here. That just fell. You can see the where it broke off right there. Can you see? Yeah, right there. It broke off and just kind of fell down, right? Yeah, and see that tree there. It's just kind of leaning on another tree. There's that tree there that's kind of sideways. And then this one here just kind of broke off as well right up there and fell down here I already started cleaning up a little bit but this tree is right in the middle of my beautiful trail look at that my trail is all covered up and even our shed moved luckily the shed didn't get hit by the tree just fell right next to it but yeah some very damaging news for the kids here their swing set and Gymnastic bars are all kind of falling apart, but we're all set. We've got our generators, right? Got the generators going. Yeah, but you know, one thing you don't realize is, look at that. It takes this much gas every day to fill those up. I got a 320 volt right over here. That's 320 volt right there for the water. And uh, yeah, and let's go check out this side of the little trail. Actually, it was kind of sad that the trail got all messed up. I haven't been very far on the trail, but let's go check it out. 
See, this is the other side here where that tree is. Let's go see what else is in this trail. And this other tree right here, totally insane. This tree just fell right there. You have to cut through this tree. Can I get past here? Yeah. There we go. I can actually get past here. There is a barbed wire right there though, because this is an old farm, right? It used to be a farm. Obviously, well, it still is. But let's go. I haven't been down this way yet. Let's go check it out. See how much damage there is at the rest of the trail. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Not too bad. I gotta go cut some of those trees down too, right? It looks like nothing all the way up to here. Let's see what else there is. Oh, I guess there's this branch. At least it's not super cold. It's not very warm. It's 10 degrees, which is in Fahrenheit that would be uh, I guess it would be around 50. Yeah, around 50. Which isn't too bad, right? So this is it. This is the trail. This is as far as it goes. Right now it looks like some trees... I guess this branch fell from somewhere. Wow, this is the end of the trail though, right? our potato field well it's not ours it's the we just live next to it but that's a potato field right there in case you're wondering and uh, yeah this is where the house is right we're just right there and they actually had lots of trees falling on the potato field that they actually will need to they needed to clean out because they, they would prevent them from being able to actually clean up, uh, pick up the potatoes, right? The harvest, I guess you'd call it. But uh, yeah, so let's go, let's go check out the trees. And you know, if you're listening to this, obviously, Corson Comes Secrets is not even anything to do with a trail in the backyard and a Fiona hurricane or anything like that. But this is kind of a special, I, this is actually late. Normally I would have recorded my weekly episode a week ago, which was, I guess, two days after the hurricane hit and we got power out of power. At that time, we didn't even have generators. We had to order them online. Luckily, Amazon is pretty quick to deliver stuff. And uh, we got them all set up, I guess, two days ago. Uh, we did lose, you know, stuff in the fridge and whatever because we didn't have the generators when we first power first came on. But uh, but we did get the generators and I got even set up the water pump so we have some water, running water in the house now. We didn't we didn't have that um, until then just because uh, we didn't have the hookups. So I had to get those parts too. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, go show you what I'm actually doing with saws and all that stuff. All right, so I got my saw. I got a, a call, another saw too, but I'm kind of using just this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, back and forth saw or whatever you, you call it, right? To cut the branches off, the trees. So let me see if I can, I can hold this like this, just kind of show you. Obviously this, this can make some noise, but there you go. So I just cut this like this. You know, get the little branches out of there too. Cut these big branches out. It 
getting hot. Look at that, it's smoking. It's smoking. It's probably because the tree is kind of, no, I guess not, it's not. Let's just get this down like this then. Look at that, it's smoking. I can do this. There you go. Cut those cut off. Cut this one off. Right? Cut this one off. So it's really that simple, right? So, no, I mean, obviously. So there, cutting those off, and then, of course, I cut the tree like this. I'm not going to do it right here because I actually have to hold it with my hand, but I'm uh, doing that for that. Getting those branches over there, gonna have to bring them over by the side of the road there. And that's, uh, yeah, pretty crazy stuff, right? I gotta do that all to this tree here too, right? But, yeah, then let me go get my other saw. And you know what, if there is one thing that I wanna remind you, as you're listening to this and it has nothing to do with the course, courses, online courses, course income secrets, right? But it is, part of online marketing. Part of online marketing is letting people a little bit into your world, letting them know. So this is a saw I'm talking about. It's actually a chainsaw, right? But it's an electric chainsaw. And I probably won't be able to show you running because, um, well, because I, I need to hold it with both hands, right? And I can't hold my phone. I would have had to set up a tripod or something, which I didn't do. But as you can see, our house did survive we didn't have any major things happen with the house and uh it's good right obviously it's good that we're able to and i keep forgetting to look at the camera here because i'm actually this is one of the things i teach in online marketing in recording videos is to look at the camera right now i'm staring right at the camera which means i'm looking at you right so little tips like that for online marketing and the other thing too this one of the things i say all the time is talk to one person i'm talking to you right now not you know you guys or my facebook friends or my my followers or whatever because i'm making it personal to you right i might i might uh you, well the thing you have to realize is that not never ever anybody watches these videos on a screen with 50 people in front of it, right? It's always just one person on their phone, on their laptop, on their computer, on their tablet that's watching you do these videos. So you are the only person that matters. I'm talking to you right now, letting you know that even in crazy things like hurricanes, no power for eight days, you can still make it happen. You can still do your daily, weekly, work online and for me i don't know what's going to happen but i might decide to start my series over at number one or something maybe it'll be called season two right uh course income secrets season two i, I haven't really decided but maybe that's what i'm going to do i'm kind of thinking about it right now right but yeah so let me show you this chainsaw here just a second let's flip the camera around check it out it's pretty cool it's a ryobi it's actually a chainsaw. You just take the battery, right? These batteries here. And then you just... And these batteries work with all the devices. There's lots of companies that do these different things. But this is one of the ones. You know, and I can probably turn it on. Can I? See, there you go. Look. It's going. Right? I can probably do a little thing to kind of show you. I do this right here. It's actually working pretty good. Hey, look at that. This is working a lot better than the other saw. Yeah, check it out.
Turn it off. That's pretty cool, right? That cuts really a lot faster than that other one, but that other one is really meant for <coughs> just uh, just getting the branches off, right? Although I could use a chainsaw for that too, right? Could use that chainsaw to do lots of the other work. Obviously, the batteries don't last forever, but at least I have jet generators where I can charge the batteries and use them. So, I mean, that's about it. There's not much else I can say other than you keep going. Don't quit because, you know, some sort of natural disaster happens to you and you can't keep going or you feel like you're, you know, lost all the momentum. And maybe it's true. Maybe I have lost momentum because I haven't really been active. I mean, I've been using my active group users tool to uh, comment and engage on people's posts, but I haven't done that for like the week, right? And I'm going to have to start over in, the, in that way. And we'll see how that goes but maybe it's a good thing maybe i can take this as a reboot of things right and maybe that's what i'm gonna be doing anyways so yeah so that's it for today this is i'm, I'm gonna be putting the, the 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 trailer here and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.